Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. So don't mind, I have the window open now the, um, uh, to let some of this out. The light will probably fluctuate through the reading, so do not mind that. I will be using these cards today. Let's see here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pull two cards for the overall energy, and I'll be doing a Celtic cross spread here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what this message is for the Aries Collective. Let's see here. Holy Spirit, Spirit has an angel. For the Aries Collective. All right, let's take a look here. What do we have here for Aries? Holy Spirit, Spirit has an angel. Let's see. Oh, um, we'll do three cards. Okay, let's see here. All right, let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? What do they need to know? Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising for Aries. What do they need to know? Holy Spirit. Okay. Well. Okay, Aries, you got two cards here out of this deck. So let's see here. So you got soulmate. I don't know if you can see that. Soulmate. It's a picture here. Um, and it says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. And then you got romance. Okay. Cupid's arrow strikes. So usually when those kind of cards come out, it's like, there, well, when romance comes out, it's like something here. It's like a new beginning that is about to take place within your romantic life. Either you've met them already or this is something new coming in. Now I'm going to still pull the other two cards that I wanted to pull. So I feel like this is needs to be done. So let's see. I'm going to use Mystic Goddess Confession Deck. And I'm going to use the Island Pine Wellness Oracle. So let's see here. What do we have? This is for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. For Aries, just one card I will take. This is for Aries. Okay. This is a, a message here. You got Twin Flame that came out of Mystic Goddess Confession. Twin Flame. You know what? Oh my gosh. You know what I just heard? I'm thinking to myself, I'm sitting in my head singing it, and I'm like, wait a minute, this must be a message here. <laughs> um, what is that song? It's like it's called Love. It's called Love. L is for the way you look at me. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know who sings it, but I know I mean I just started hearing it in my head. Uh who who, who sings the song? And, and okay, I was gonna say that Frank Frank Sinatra, of course. All right, um, yeah. So I don't know why I was about to say Tony Bennett first, but um, Frank Sinatra. All right, so love. Okay, so let's just a real, real love here. Let's see here. Buckle one more time. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. I will be accepting two personal readings next week. Okay, um, mentorship program is closed currently. Oh, look at that. Look how that landed right there. And all the other um, information that you may need from me is in the description box. So the bottom of the deck, we got talking, um, interested, conversing more, awaited messages, arrived, text call, email, hoovering. Over here, we have addiction, okay? Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling has a block. So let's just go ahead and get into this. Cult across and see what's going on here. I'm going to pull three cards off to the side using a different deck to see the energy here of, I want to say how someone feels about you, or just let's see here of the external energy of the other person. Because I, I was led to do that when I was first shuffling before I even got on camera. And I don't know why. I don't ever do that. So let's see here. Let's see here for the external party here. What is this energy here? I'm going to put this off to the side. 
which is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Give us three cards here for this outside energy. Three of cards came out. Six of Wands. So you got the Ace of Swords here. This could definitely be a new person coming towards you. New beginning, new communication coming in. Somebody's getting clear about their feelings. We got the Five of Pentacles. And we got the Knight of Cups. So the, the Knight of Cups could be romance. Romantic offer coming in. But this is after somebody here either ghosted someone or is feeling or, or was ghosted from someone else is this a ghosted energy or feeling left out in the cold um feeling depleted feeling down and out abandoned depressed even it's like somebody came to a realization about something this could have been somebody that you left or lost you this could be somebody completely external from this overall energy so let's see what's going on here for you aries okay Tell us about the situation for Aries. I got air, earth, and water energy over there. So let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? It's not the Ace of Pentacles flipped, I saw. Let's see here. Mm, nothing's coming out. Mm, too, too many cards. And I'm hearing not this deck. So let's use this one. All right. All right, let's get in. Holy Spirit, Spirit and Angels, please walk in. A little bit kind of for the Aries Collective. All right. Sun, so, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Let's take a look. Well, it was definitely an ace still. So that we have the ace of wands here. The other one, the first card that flipped was the ace of pentacles. Definitely a new beginning. We have the ace of swords over to the end. Okay. Aries Leo Sag energy here. This is the strongest energy of the reading. So there is a passionate new beginning that is about to ensue for you, Aries. Cupid arrow strike. Passion, excitement, intensity. Okay. Um, could even be a sexual thing, something that leads to a sexual encounter or just the beginning of a sexual relationship, but it's definitely a soulmate connection here with the romance and the soulmate and the twin flame. The bottom of the deck, we have Empress. Okay. So someone here is attracting new love to them. Okay. Because they have healed or is healing through a situation. A cycle has ended and now a new one is about to begin. What is the challenge here for Aries? Wow. The challenge here is the sun. This could be with the page of cups here. This could be speaking about your feelings, talking about your feelings, expressing your feelings, being vulnerable. But I'm also getting the sense here of accepting happiness, allowing happiness and the things that you've dreamed or prayed for to come into your life, being open to them. Because the sun here is a very positive new beginning here. Um, things working out for your good ultimate happiness it's a beautiful energy here so there's something here about you accepting that happiness okay leo energy here what does spirit want aries to focus on the eight of wands i feel like with this new beginning aries it's not just going to be about love but I feel like there's going to be a period where a lot of new things are about to come into your life very quickly, very rapidly. It feels like answered prayers here with this page of wands. Okay. It's, you're about to get exciting news. Okay. Very exciting news. Things are going to be very happy here. And I, oh, look at this. This is the first time I've seen. Definitely. This is definitely answered prayers. As much as I've used this deck, this is the first time I've seen these red cardinals. There's two red cardinals. I can't really see it because my light on the side of this person here. So that represents passed on loved ones, ancestors here. So you could have people here on the other side who are helping you or bringing these messages to you, helping these new beginnings to move forward. And then you have here the eight of wands. So there's something here about you needing to listen to communication that's coming towards you or listening to some sort of 
communication that you're about to receive. This could be spiritual communication here, but it's leading you to opportunities, new beginnings, positivity as well. Things are about to start moving very quickly for you too. It's like something gets started and then everything is coming in all together, one by one by one. What happened in the past here for Aries? So like, let's say new business, new job, or like new job, new business, new lover, exciting new opportunities, things like that is going to start one after the other. Like things are really going to pick up for you. In the past, I'm seeing here, there was a lot of confusion, a lot of trying to find your way, maybe even emotions that you were trying to sort through could even been like opportunities as well. Some good, some not so good. Some of you could have been in some sort of an illusion with someone within a relationship where you thought it was one thing. Um, but it really was another. And most times when people put you in illusions and relationships, it's because they don't want you to leave. They want to kind of string you along and allow you to stay somewhere. So they give you these false hope and these false feelings. Yep. There's a devil energy, right? Somebody tried to keep you stuck or attached to them in the 10 of swords here. So it could have been something that you had to get over. It was very painful. The addiction here repre represents the devil energy, right? Codependency, being stuck or tied or bound to something, an obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. So there was some sort of emotional addiction here. Tell us about what's crowning Aries. We have the five of swords here with the queen of wands here at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Aries. Okay. So with this five of swords energy, it, although it's a victory, it's somebody winning or overcoming something. It doesn't, it feels like it was a difficult fight. It was very difficult. It was very hard. It's almost, it's like you had to have armor on for a long time. It's like you had to learn how to get out of situations, but, it, or get out of a particular situation, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it's not like something that you're really proud of. And I'm not saying that you did anything bad, but it's like you had to fight get to get out of something. It's more like a relief type of energy. And I'm getting this sense here of someone who not only had to overcome a lot, how, how do I put this? Because I keep seeing somebody in armor. Maybe even desensitize to relationships and things like that. Because you had to protect yourself. You know what I'm getting as well? It's like this energy of having to, uh, and I think this correlates with the sun here. And You know, the sun being in the child's position, you being open to receive love, happiness, things that are good for you. But it's very hard and difficult for you to receive those things because you're always in this protective mode or... I think maybe because somebody maybe have always tried to one up you, you had to feel like you have to be very vigilant and, you know, ready and prepared almost for the worst instead of just being able to be vulnerable. And that's kind of how you've just gotten through things, life, relationships, not wanting to get hurt. So you had to kind of, it's kind of a situation where it's like, I had to leave before you left me type of energy. I'm not saying that happened, but I'm just feeling like somebody here really, really has to protect themselves because of past hurts and trauma. So maybe you don't share everything that you would like to. It's very difficult for you to open up. There's a wall that is up here. Give us, tell us what's coming towards Aries in the near future. Page of Cups. So there is some sort of emotional message here coming in or a new person here that you is going to slowly but surely start, either you're going to start opening up to this person, they're going to start opening up to you. But the Page of Cups here, it's like new love or the beginning stages of a of a love or somebody saying, I like you, you know, I want to get to know you or even just a, something as a sweet friendship. It's the beginning stages of something coming in. How's Aries feeling about this? Ooh. Four of Wands. Aries, there's something here in your life where you're disconnected, dissatisfied. You could have broken up from someone here, broken up, moved out from someone. Maybe you're living in a situation, but I'm feeling like you're still feeling the sense of a breakup or a disconnect of a relationship. I feel like you're still trying to find your way or find your happiness. Okay, maybe even feeling a little unstable, maybe possibly because of something that happened here in the past with the Seven of Cups. Because we got the Four of Wands here in reverse, flipped around here. Tell us about what's in Aries' environment. 
the world card. There's something that you don't see around you, but it's coming to an end. So maybe it's the cycle that you're in. It's something here that is coming to an end and it's for your good. But I feel like here, in order for this to really close out, you have to kind of drop your guard. I'm also seeing that there's someone coming in towards you here. This world card, it's not that it's, I'm not seeing a person, but I'm feeling like this is an energy here of something that is going to feel like it's going to complete you. It's going to complete you. Something that you've like, it's, it's, it's the whole center of your world is going to be surrounded by this thing. But it's going to be a good thing. It's going to make you very happy. So you got the King of Wands here. Queen of Cups energy at the bottom of the deck. This could be a person, very attractive here, charismatic, charming. And we're going to get back to that as well. This is somebody here who puts their eye on something that they want and they get what they want because of their charm, because of their passion. This could be you or someone else. We're going to take a look at that. Let's see here. What is in the outcome? For Aries. We got the Seven of Swords here and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone here who's quite deceptive, dishonest here. Okay, somebody here who could be pretending, um, I want to say pretending to be committed or oh, let me see, gold digger energy because we've got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. Let's clarify this and see what's going on here. Oh. Yeah, we can lose these now. There's somebody here who's sneaky, deceptive, hiding something, but what are they hiding? Tell us about the Seven of Swords here first. Too many cards. Why does cards want to come out like that? Tell us about the Seven of Swords here. The Eight of Cups walking away. Tell us about the Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. And then here you have it, the Knight of Cups over here. Tell us about the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Two of Swords. There's a decision. Tell us about the Knight of Cups and the Two of Queen of Pentacles. Oh, goodness. Ace of Pentacles. Now tell us about this Ace of Wands. The Two of Cups. Wow. The Sun. Wow, the Four of Wands. It doesn't really get any better than that. You have someone over here, Aries, and I feel like this is this external energy that I pulled in the beginning. Okay? The Ace of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Someone here was like, I think it was like, yeah, it was like, it doesn't matter. Somebody here has come to the realization that they lost something very great. Very great, very valuable. And I feel like it could have been the connection with you. Okay. This person is showing up as the Knight of Cups here, and they're still showing up as the Knight of Cups in the outcome. This is someone here who, honestly, for whatever reason, they're incapable of fully and completely committing to someone emotionally. It doesn't matter what their age is. With this Knight of Cups energy here, they're really the type of person that's one foot in the door and one foot out. They want, to re they want to reap all the benefits of a relationship, but they don't want to put in that same amount of effort. Okay? They just want it. It's kind of like the Knight of Cups could be a love bomber, right? Somebody here who wants to get, make you fall in love, but then they want to leave and ghost you, right? But I feel like somebody did that and they're coming to some sort of, rela they're coming to some sort of realization that, wow, I that was the winner. That was the one. That was the truth, okay? Aries Collective, that was the one I was supposed to be with. But it feels like with the Five of Pentacles, they are really le feeling left out in the cold, okay? Someone here is sneaking their way back in towards you. 
with the seven of swords here. And it seems like there was a choice, a decision they had to make with the two of swords. And it fell on top of the queen of pentacles here. The eight of cups here is on top of the seven of swords. So somebody here is, is sneakily leaving someone, okay? I say that because that whole one foot in the door, one foot out of the door, it keeps ringing a bell, okay? So like, say for instance, someone could be in a connection or relationship with someone, but they're trying to line up their next source, okay? And I say that because you got this real strong narcissistic energy here with this addiction, codependency, that type of energy where someone can't be single. They have to jump from one relationship to the next relationship, and they're not going to leave one relationship unless they know they have a safe landing with someone else, and then they're going to suck the life or suck onto that person. There's someone here who's sneaking, being very sneaky about their next move to leave a relationship here, and it's because they're making this decision. There's something here that was blocked. This decision, though, is to kind of offer you this new beginning, okay? A proposal, a commitment here with the Knight of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles. The only problem is the person that's coming towards you to give you this Ace of Pentacles is this Knight of Cups, okay? And if I tell you the Knights are very romantic, but they're also very flighty too, okay? They want to offer you something real that they're unable to um give. You remember that saying where people would say, you know, don't write a, a check that your ass can't cash. It's kind of that sense. But that, that goes with this with this ace of pentacles energy because it's something that is real, tangible, that this cups energy, which is all emotions, is wanting to offer you. So somebody here who's in this very emotional, watery energy wants to offer you something real, but they're not capable of doing so, or they don't really have it to give. And I'm not even talking about monetary. I'm talking about something real, a solid relationship, a solid connection, okay? That's what's going on over here. But what you have here, Aries, which is the strongest energy with the first one out here was the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Two of Cups. You have a soulmate, okay? And we see that with this overall energy. You have a brand new soulmate coming in with the romance, Cupid Arrow Strikes, okay? Brand new soulmate coming in. Um, and I don't know if the Twin Flame was this past person or this new person coming in, but it doesn't matter. Twin Flame is a very strong relationship. With the Sun here, this is something that's going to make you extremely happy, okay? Aries, fire signs, we love passion, okay? And you got it all over this connection here. Somebody who is going to give it to you equally. You give to them, they give to you, and it's going to be equally. It's going to be equal, and it's going to be very fulfilling here with the Four of Wands. This is literally like a happily ever after type of combination, but it's the beginning stages, right? The Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Four of Wands. You found something that has really sparked your interest. The biggest challenge here for you, Aries, I feel like is you getting in that receptive mode or just really allowing yourself to be happy because again, you have gotten really good at being guarded. Okay. Maybe even a, maybe even a little manipulative yourself because you don't like to open up to people. You like to hide things. But unfortunately, if you want to receive the type of love that you're praying for, or fortunately, you have to learn how to be vulnerable. That's the only way love works is that you have to be vulnerable yourself. So that could be a big challenge for you Aries and trying to heal that aspect of yourself because I'm seeing here for you and this four of wands energy you may have kind of given up on the hope of love or find finding the one but it's kind of it's coming this one is coming here my nose rings hanging out and I feel like that's what this is with this ace of wands the world card over here in the your external energy what's around you is that there's going to be someone here that's going to be the end all be all with the world and I'm going to clarify that Mm -hmm. Knight of Pentacles. This is something real that's coming towards you slowly but surely, Aries, okay? Seven of Pentacles. Someone's coming in here to invest. It is, right? And the lovers. So you got the lovers in the world. This is going to be that soulmate. That is really that that feeling of if you felt like you were missing something, when this person comes into your life, you feel like you found it. Okay. It's coming in slowly or the relationship will be a slow growing relationship, but it's going to be one that's going to last because this person is going to invest in you with the seven of pentacles. Okay. Um, not a time waster type of energy. I feel like this is something here that you've been patiently waiting for, but when this comes in, it's definitely going to heal you. 
okay? Or help heal complete that 10 of cups, okay? See, there's something here about three of swords being heartbroken in the past. So let's take a look about the eight of wands here because this is what spirit wants you to focus on. The three of cups. Oh, goodness. The chariot and the ten of swords. A lot of you, you may have been in this ten of swords energy where something very painful has happened, a betrayal of some sort here. But spirit is telling you to continue to focus on the positive things that are coming into your life. I feel like for you, Aries, there's going to be a lot of things to celebrate. And I'm not just talking about love. Other areas of your life are about to pick up and you're going to be very successful. Some of you could be an entrepreneur or just really taking charge of your life and what makes you happy. And I feel like this King of Wands energy is you, okay, male or female. You're going to be at the, on the top of your game. If not already, you're getting there. So this is kind of that energy where a lot of things are going to be coming towards you, happening very positively for you, where you're not really in love. And that's really when it comes in. You're focused on healing, something that happened to you that was very painful. Tell us about the Page of Cups here and the near future here for Aries. Eight of Swords. There's someone that's coming towards you that's going to help you break out of this shell or this wall that you had, okay, with the Eight of Swords in reverse. You won't. If you're, feared, if you're worried about self-sabotaging this, you won't. Okay, I feel like somebody is going to help you open up and it's going to be a slow growing thing, but that's a good thing. Okay, four of pentacles here. Tell us about the four of pentacles. It's like you may hold back for a little bit, but you're going to be able to open up queen of pentacles. Tell us about the ace of pentacles and the outcome. The emperor. Yeah, someone's offering you this new beginning, but it's a knight. Okay, it's a knight who's offering an emperor this commitment and this relationship or this new beginning so it's not really substantial it's not a it's not your equal tell us about the five of swords here the seven of swords in reverse yeah you i told you you were really working on being honest being truthful with yourself how you feel what you want like you could be the type of person who's telling yourself oh i don't want love or i'm good how i am or you know it's it's fine like but you're really lying to yourself you really want love you really want to be in a relationship you really want that somebody and i feel like you were working with the five of swords and the seven of swords in reverse you're working on being more honest with yourself okay tell us about this addiction card Tell us about the addiction card. The high priestess. Something here about secrets. Listening to your intuition. Ace of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you, there's someone, I'm just gonna, for lack of a better word, who in your past was quite toxic who is coming to this realization or is getting this intuitive download It's because the Ace of Swords is kind of like this Ace of Swords energy. They're getting this, their intuition is saying, wow, I need to start something back up with Aries or I need to come back towards Aries. And I don't know, it feels like the ego or something here is really fighting that. They're still feeling left out in the cold. They're still feeling like they're in the dark, but they're not, yeah, the Hierophant in reverse. I feel like this person is not listening to their intuition they're not listening to their own spirit guides. I want to say they're failing some sort of lesson here with the Hierophant in reverse. Knight of Wands, they're following their flesh. Okay, so this could be somebody here who would rather be with a lot of individuals sexually, right, for the passion, than go for a connection that is real. Okay, that is spiritual, that is connect, you know, that will tick all the boxes. And they're living in a world of regret here because everything that they touch, and I'm talking about people that they encounter sexually or whatever, it's unfulfilling. 
is unfulfilling and somebody is going against that. But this isn't the new person. This is someone here, Aries, who's being led back towards you intuitively, but they're not listening to that calling. And in the meantime, between time, there is something here that is coming towards you. It could be another fire sign because we got heavy Leo energy all through this. It doesn't have to be the main energy. It could be in their chart somewhere. Um, but heavy fire energy, it's just, even if it's not a fire sign, it's just representing that there's something that is really going to be passionate. And let's say you've been dating and it's just mm, not really there. This is going to be something that's really going to ignite your fire, like really going to pique your interest in a positive, in a good way. Okay. Um, Let's pull, I'm going to pull some, where are they at? Romance Angels and I'm going to close the reading. Let's see here. This is for Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? So you got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And I feel like this is that person coming towards you, Aries. And then you got chemistry. So you got chemistry with one person and then there's unrequited love with somebody here from the past. And then you have codependency. So there's that, that devil energy again. Addiction. Somebody is addicted to being in relationships, but maybe with the wrong people. All right. And then you got wedding. And the wedding card came over here and fell on top of the world card. So that's that end all be all that I was talking about. This situation involves marriage. You also got here at the bottom of the deck, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So Aries, again, I want to go back to the Aries here who have issues with opening up, okay? Being truthful about what you want in love and relationships. And when you do meet someone, working on letting down that guard, that that emotional guard, maybe something that's happened in the past is, is keeping that wall up to where you're not expressing or allowing yourself to be vulnerable, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Take care.